Keeping It Real with Cam Marston is brought to you by C2 Wealth Strategies. Derek Kayongo can dance. I've seen him. He's amazing. And he's dressed to the nines while he's doing it. He's a great fan of fashion. And his stylish clothes plus his dancing make you smile. His movements are what joy looks like. He was a speaker at a recent event, and that night he took to the dance floor, and it was apparent his joy is simply to be alive. And there's good reason. Forty years ago, Derek watched as eight members of his village in Uganda were shot dead by one of Idi Amin's generals. Derek was 10. The general and a truckload of troops gathered the villagers and demanded that someone confess to the killing of one of the general's soldiers. The general announced he'd shoot four people at a time until the killer confessed. And after pulling the trigger on the seventh victim, a young man quickly stepped forward and admitted to the murder. The general shot him without a word and drove away. The man the villagers all knew did not kill the soldier. He volunteered his life to keep his innocent neighbors alive. So today, Derek dances to celebrate life, his life, your life, my life. He dances simply to celebrate life. I've seen him, he's amazing. Years ago, my mother and grandmother set out to learn to Cajun dance and invited me to meet them at a dirt road juke joint in Southwest Louisiana where word had it, they'd see the real thing. There we sat, me, a college student, my mom and my grandmother in a loud bar where English took a back seat to a deep Cajun patois. It only took a little while before a short, one-armed, bald man held his hand out to my mother in the universal request to dance. It startled my mother, and her face went from fear to flattery to excitement. And she took his hand, and together they stepped onto the crowded dance floor, where without a word, he taught her to Cajun dance, moving together counterclockwise with the other dancers, never speaking. We learned later he worked on a shrimp boat, was deaf, and felt the music through the vibrations in the wooden floor. When my mother became confident in her dancing and with her silent partner, she rested her chin on his bald head and they both smiled. It was fun. It was joy. Goodness knows there's plenty to worry about these days. Acknowledging each of them gives each of them too much importance, and I won't do that. But let's you and me decide to dance, literally or metaphorically. Watching Derek dance and remembering my mother that night in the Louisiana juke joint has reminded me of something important. Let's find a way to find, then spread, joy. I'm Cam Marston just trying to keep it real.